testing, testing, is this thing on? <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> um, I'm finally pushing myself to do this because it's taken me forever, five ever, to just do this. I've been overthinking it like a mug and sadly y'all are really used to me disappearing <laughs> in the past couple years. Um, so I am here today to just chat. I don't think this video will be super long, but this is me just forcing myself to do something um, and stop overthinking. So I don't have any plan for this video. I literally just pressed record and we're here. So, um, hi, if it's your first time on my channel, welcome. Um, shout out to the faithfuls that still DM me, still comment, still are here after the journey that this channel has been. Um, first things first on just life updates. I'm married, wait, oh my lord. Y'all, I need to get these rings soldered so that they they're they're cousins they're not best friends so sometimes they need a little help and a reset to come together but anywho your girl is married okay i'm talking about like five months ago almost <laughs> i got married which is crazy because i always assumed that my marriage season and like engagement and all of that would have been such a huge milestone on my channel especially because my channel literally went viral off of the um 25 and never been kissed uh what was the name of the series single and left the save single and left behind or something like that when i was 25 years old which y'all was almost five years ago because i turned 30 in february wow that's just um, wow, so, but I always assumed that that would be a big season on YouTube, but I just like mentally was not in the place to do that. Um, I was recording during the entire marriage, um, season and like planning of the wedding and all of that, but... Um, as you all know, I kind of left you on a cliffhanger last time about the fact that, um, restoration had occurred. Sorry, there's a very loud car outside. Um, that restoration had occurred and, um, we actually were able to come back together and were re-engaged and got married all in a matter of, um, six months since coming back together. So, um, we were apart for about six months and then came back together and got married in six months, which is wild. <laughs> it is wild. And I will be honest with you, like I'm always so much more transparent with my YouTube family. And I feel like TikTok now, I'm starting to grow that kind of a relationship with TikTok, but mainly y'all, I'll give y'all the real real that I haven't given to my other platforms, which is that like, I didn't feel like I had a place to really share our story because I was living it and living restoration and healing while also trying to find a way to communicate that to people. And I think I hinted that in my like comeback video that I did in February of just like, that's a lot to navigate. Um, and I was really afraid of judgment if I'm being 100% honest because like the reality is uh, there are people who don't agree with my decision. Um, there were people who spoke negatively of my choice. There was pushback. There was um, tension around um our timeline of getting married there are people i think still to this day who if i asked them honestly or if they were speaking honestly they would not have uh, it's not that they wouldn't have positive things to say about us in our relationship um but it just you know people these days if there's anything people gonna have in 2023 it's an opinion <laughs> An opinion about somebody else's life, decisions, and things that affect not you at all, but you are going to have an opinion about it. And I just, I'm 
was not a safe space as a recovering people pleaser for me to get out here and try to form a narrative that was publicly pal palatable and then still get haterade in my comments. I just was not prepared for that. I was trying to stay spiritually grounded, focus on the huge task ahead, which was marriage, make sure that I was ready for that, that we were ready for that. And then also planning a wedding without a uh, wedding planner, which I highly would never recommend to anyone ever. Don't do it. Please listen to me. I don't care if you're dirt broke. If you're dirt broke, then just have a little backyard wedding that doesn't require a whole lot of significant pieces and parts because I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, don't do it. But I did it. And it ended up turning out great. It was not, I will be honest, like, I think if I had a wedding planner, there were there would have been things that came together much more smoothly. And then I think there were there would be aspects about my day that I dreamed that would have come out like I dreamed them. But that's not me complaining. Like I I loved my wedding. Um, I loved it. And like we have forever to go. And vow renewals are a thing. You know, like you can have multiple types of experiences. Um, throughout your life it's not all on the wedding day and honestly we were on a tight budget for the wedding we were not interested in um going all out we also weren't interested in focusing and spending so much money and time on a wedding that we didn't invest in ourselves in the marriage that was coming um so yeah it was just a lot y'all it was a lot and i did record pieces and parts of it and i have some of those pieces and parts but I don't know how to like do y'all want to see that do y'all want to see the footage of me like finding my dress and uh what else did I record like some of the planning process like DIY stuff that I did y'all tell me I don't know because maybe like y'all are like the time is over you're already married we don't care anymore and that's fine okay I may still post one or two things that I know I want to post just so I have them as memories forever but also if y'all aren't interested let me know so i'm trying to figure out a way to do it right now i've been spending a lot of time on tiktok and i still haven't even broke through on tiktok how i want but i just i've been wrestling with this question of like do i still have a place in social media world like i think who i am that got me all of the traction and attention at one point in my life I'm just not as connected with that version of myself anymore and I know I've said this 30 times on my channel y'all are probably rolling your eyes like sis we've heard this I know but I just I feel the need to say to say it because I feel like it'll give y'all a window really into my mind right now it's just like I don't know I feel like where social media has gone now is like I, I wasn't keeping up keeping up with the trends I wasn't like I was like two years late to even posting my first reel like I just when everybody was like jumping on those bandwagons and like even now people have threads I don't even have a threads account nor do I really have an interest apparently Twitter changed their logo and name and now they're ex I haven't been on my I only have a professional Twitter account and I haven't been on it in probably over a year definitely not actively posting in over a year so you see what I'm saying? Like I'm just, I'm not, I don't know. It took me forever to get started on TikTok. I had a few on there, but not really like a community there. So I'm kind of trying to break into that now. Um, but yeah, also like everything that I've been going through is not necessarily squeaky clean. And I feel like social media world, especially around relationships, it just feels like it has to be squeaky clean, especially in like Christian TikTok world. It's like, you know, you find your spouse in the church and you're both like spiritually healthy and mentally healthy and physically healthy. And you live your perfectly, you know, perfect life. And you both are, you know, it's just very like, okay, like people didn't have backgrounds. People didn't have like things they've come from or come through. You know, I've been trying to find and have found quite a few Christian couples that are like just real. And I've been listening to their podcast just about their journey and like the bumps in the road and the ways that God has gotten the glory out of the things that they've been through. And that's been more encouraging. But I also just feel really intimidated about breaking into 
the social media space currently because I just I don't know I think the momentum I had at one point was like validating you know like oh I have a place here like people want to see something here but since pulling back and like when I try to tiptoe back out or whatever it's usually well received but it's just it's just awkward <laughs> you know so I don't even know but I just I really have a pull on my heart to just share my unique experience and not always just heavy like you know oh this is all the woes and whatever but just like being a young millennial christian trying to do this thing god's way and day-to-day -day life just figuring out what's next and what you know the morning routines night routines like very basic things that since getting married baby i just am like what did i know about life before <laughs> because there is no way that I've been existing in this world. Like, what? I just, I don't even know how to describe it, but very basic things. I don't know if it's a combination between me being in college for so long, being single for so long. I don't know, but just the very basic aspects of life just are challenging for your girl, okay? So I am trying to figure it out and um, it's not, neat and it's not necessarily you know super cute being a homeowner regrets I have about being a homeowner right now you see what I'm saying it's just like it's not um cookie cutter picture perfect social media stuff um but I like a video like this for me I think is good because I'm trying to get out of overthinking and literally just pick up the camera it takes so much pressure off of me around like editing or like trying to get things to look a very specific way. I'm trying to just believe that that stuff will come as I just start with who I am now. And the message that I have now is for the people that it's for. And for those it's not for, they'll move on. And I'm okay with that, I think. <laughs> so, um,. Yeah, this is all over the place for sure, um, but hopefully it makes some sense. So uh, yeah, the things I need y'all to do, like I said previously, is to let me know if you even want to see like the wedding season content. It's not a ton of stuff, but I was recording through all of that. So I do have stuff to post if you guys want to see like, again, me finding my dress or like planning DIY, the orders that I was getting in, like stuff like that. If y'all want to see that, let me know. I can go back and we can edit that footage and get it posted in some kind of way. But I also don't want to like keep y'all from current life. So I'll probably just kind of mix it in some kind of way, you know, like every once in a while I'll do a video about wedding and then vlog and just talk to y'all like this on the other days. I don't know y'all. I don't know, I don't feel super savvy and super whatever, but I do feel this burden to pick up the camera and just try. So this is me, <laughs> Gaby in 2023, trying to figure this thing out. So if you're still here, thanks for watching and um, yeah, I hope to be around in the space a little bit more often and we'll just see how we rebuild and what God wants to do with who I am right now in this season. So, yeah. Uh, oh, also, Baby and I did record a video of me trying to come back. <laughs> um, so, y'all can know I've been trying for really months now to sit down and record a video um so he and I actually did jump in on a video together so if it works out for me to add it to this video I will if not I'll post a separate video soon of just kind of like what life has been like as a newly married couple and yeah that's all I've got guys okay so I'm gonna actually jump off and probably edit this right now so I can get something posted it's currently Friday, October 6th, so we'll see how long it takes me <laughs> to get this video up. If it's any more than a week, y'all can jump in the comments and cuss me out, okay?
just keep me accountable guys okay i mean you already do by continuing to talk to me in my dms and just check in and care when you don't have to but yeah i'm excited to have community in this current season of life in this way so i love you guys and i will talk to you in the next video bye